Hello, it's Shawnee. Welcome back. So I've been talking about like matte shadows a lot and I've been one who always enjoys all matte looks. I also like all shimmer looks and I also love the combination. So I thought I would do a couple of matte looks for you. I'm going to, I guess for me too, I'm going to do my like the one that I do the most and then I think I'll pick maybe some fall type colors and do some shades. I'm sorry, do some looks with those. So the first one I'm going to do is like my classic and the classic uh, neutral nude brownish matte look. Also, I have news stories. I have news stories and we like we have to talk about these. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. <laughs> now, one palette, I've talked about it in a previous video uh, that I really like is the Viseart Neutral Matte Palette. And essentially you can use any palette that has matte shades that are neutral. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this one. Also, I will often use, Shaz do is gonna be like duh. I will often use the Danessa Myricks Groundwork Defining Neutrals palette. Fave palette. Love it so much. So I think I'll use some of the shades here as primer and then I will go ahead and use the Viseart palette to just do the the eyeshadow look. So I'm just coming back from yoga, so I'm like in my yoga clothes. Where do we start? <laughs> I I wrote things down because I prefer to have them written than on my phone. So this is like my, my news journal. I'm going to go ahead and open it to the first story I'm going to tell you about. And while I do that, I will go ahead and... I think I'll start with this shade here. I like to take like a shade that's definitely a little lighter than my skin tone, but not like super bright. Like this one here would be just too bright for the look that I like. And then like these would be too deep. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and start with that. Took off my long nails because I had to write or type a ton of clinical notes last night and it's just faster if I'm not clawing at things. All right, so I'm just gonna go into the putty side. Okay, so y'all, there's a new dating trend in Spain. So if you're single and ready to mingle, maybe you hop on a plane and like go to Madrid. So there's a supermarket chain called Mercadona. And basically, they have this thing where you can go there between um, 7 and 8 p.m. I think it's every night. And what you can do is, I guess you have to come looking your best, just looking real cute. Because the point of going at that time uh, is to find somebody to hook up with. To I don't know that you're going to find a longtime partner, but who am I to tell you about your life? So basically... You go and you take a pineapple, like a fresh pineapple, and you put it upside down in your cart and you hang out in the wine aisle. Now, why a pineapple? So in like the swinger community, uh, I believe, if you have more information, please let me know because this is just what I know. Ha like the pineapple the sign or just a pineapple indicates that people are looking to like engage with another couple or swap partners or anything like that but that has nothing to do with <laughs> this supermarket hookup thing I don't know why they chose a pineapple and pineapple is actually one of my favorite fruit if not the favorite fruits that I eat and fresh pineapple, pineapple is delicious. Anyway, so you place the pineapple upside down and then you hang out in the wine aisle. I don't know what that's about, the wine aisle, but I know here in Merlin, there are, like the alcohol is at a separate store. 
but I don't know that like they don't really have in any, any other groceries like I have not seen pineapple or other fruit in the liquor store so I don't know how that would work if you're in a place where you can't do that you know like I, I don't think that they've thought through how this would apply in other spaces. Anyway, so people are now heading to the supermarket at 7 to 8 p.m. that time frame, picking up pineapples, turning them over, and putting them in their cart and just waiting. Another supermarket thought, we're going to get on this bandwagon, but they suggest using a watermelon. Now, locals and tourists are doing this. So that's why I'm saying if you feel like being up on it, you know, go ahead and travel. I have so many questions. First of all, sometimes you can't get fresh pineapple. And sometimes there's an inconvenience, right? Because you have to like slice it and all that stuff and get the core out and all that. And sometimes I personally just like to get the pre-sliced pineapple. Now I like the chunks, I like the spears, and I like the rings. And so I'm wondering, what would that mean for someone similar to myself who is, if they're a single person, I'm not a single person. What about that? What if I don't see no pineapple? And second, what if I prefer that it's already, uh, you know, pre-sliced? And does it mean something different if they're chunks, spears, or circles, like the rings? I don't know. I also used to really like, like, the dried pineapple or whatever that you could just eat, like, you know, it's good. So what does that mean? What does that indicate? The other thing is... Like it's a bit difficult to like turn a pineapple upside down I think I'll go in with this shade here Child, I don't know like that feels this is too much thought okay this is too like I guess people just don't want to use the dating sites anymore it's like I need something more in the moment and like, do people who go to the grocery store, are they like a different type of person that goes as opposed to someone who goes online on a dating app? Because you can't even guarantee that they cook, right? Just because you're in the store doesn't mean you cook. I feel like, you know, you could just be coming to the store to come to the store and go hang out in the wine aisle. I'm also wondering, like, I just have so many questions. Like, what if I just decide that I want some fresh pineapple and I place it in the, the basket, the little trolley, and not really thinking it happens to be upside down, and then I'm like, oh, snap, I want to get some wine. And then I go over to the wine aisle. Like, how is that an invitation? It's really not. It's really not. I just, I'm... Why is what I am. Like, <laughs> I'm so... Con I, so people, of course, this is on TikTok, right? So people are just jumping in on the trend and like some stores have had to call the police because of the rowdy scenes. So I imagine it's like a whole bunch of people come into this grocery store and stand it up in the wine aisle with pineapples. I wonder also if you could put it in like one of the handheld carts or does it have to be like a push cart? Because the thing is, what if I just want to go in the store and I'm not fooling with y'all? Like, does that mean that I can't go in between 7 and 8 on every night? Like, some of us work. And I was like, I don't want to get caught up in some shenanigans just because I happen to have a pineapple and some wine. Because also... Like, is there going to be a pineapple shortage if you have all these people? I bet it's not just going to be in Spain. I bet you it's going to go to other places as well. I can't even imagine if it come on over to the Americas. Because, like, does the caliber of person change dependent upon the grocery store like am i gonna meet the same kind of person in wigman's and like trader joe's as i am in shoppers 
or Aldi? Like, you know, like I just have questions. I want to know who like created this little trend and why and what were they thinking and if there have been any successful relationships as a result. What do you think? What do you th like? I just feel like it's overall a bad idea. I don't know that anything would make it a good idea. And the other place that's like, use a watermelon. You just, like, you just throw a watermelon in your cart. When are watermelons in season? Like, it just feels like this has not been thought out properly. And like, now... Can you not buy pineapple just because you buy you want pineapple? Or do you go and get your wine first and then go get the pineapple? That's what you have to do. But also, do these people keep the pineapple or do they just like put it back on the shelf? Because what if you go there and you're trying to hook up with somebody and ain't no more pineapples left? Do you ask the store, do they have like an extra stock? Like who thought this up and did they think through all of these scenarios. I'm gonna go into this shade here, which is this, just a deeper brown. And I'm going to put that right here at the outer corner of my eye. Like when I read this, I was just like, no, no, stop it. Like this is not, <laughs> why? <sighs> But I get it, you know what? I have so many clients who are just like, the dating apps are trash and terrible, and I feel like historically they have been. Um, so I, I get trying to figure out other ways. Like, you know, people be like, let me just go stand at Home Depot by the uh, hammers or whatever and see, see what happens. I don't know if that's any better than buying a pineapple. Like, <laughs> Could you imagine if you don't meet anybody and you just have to keep going back and back and getting pineapple? Like, girl. <laughs> just got like 12 pineapples. You got like 12 pineapples in your kitchen. Can you bring your own pineapple? Fruit is expensive. But that's what I'm wondering. Can you bring your own pineapple? Does said pineapple have to stay whole? Can I just go in and like cut the pineapple and just have a snack? Like, I just wanna know who came up with this, why? And how has it worked for people? Now I feel like there's a little skip right here. I'm just patting in, but it's also just my, eye let, uh, my eyelid. So I'm just patting that on. So this is super simple. That was literally two shades. And typically I'll just do this really quickly and go about my business. You can add other shades if you like, if you want to like change the, you know, tone or anything, or you want to give it different depth. Like sometimes I will go into this shade here. I'll do a little bit, but I do want to keep it my like typical. So this kind of changes the tone of that deep brown. Oftentimes, really all the time, I pair it with a red lip. So I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup, foundation, and all that jazz, and then I'll come back and show you the finished look. Tell me what you think about this pineapple situation. Here is the look that I often wear, bright red lip with a neutral eye, and you can make this darker, whatever you like, kind of just depends on what you're doing, where you're going, what you want. Now, if I did want to make this darker, I would just grab a darker shade <laughs> and pop that on top. So I think I will use maybe this one. For this one, let's just see. So 
So then it just brings the brightness down a little bit. And this could probably work for, you know, just switching it up a little bit day to night kind of thing. So that is the first one. And let's go ahead and do some other color. I will be right back. So I think I will use the Sunset Chic palette from Colored Rain. I want to do a yellowy, orangey red. And this has all of those shades. So I'm going to move all of this stuff and start with a primer. I'll stick with a Colored Rain primer. I will use their white paint base eyeshadow primer. Just gonna put a little bit. Actually, I'm gonna do that and put it on the back of my hand. How about that? This is a very bright primer. Uh, but since I'm going to use a lighter color, that yellow, I want to make sure I have a base for it to kind of really pop on. And then of course any that gets under my eyes will be cleaned up or have foundation and or concealer on top. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to start with this shade called Sunset. I'm just gonna use the mirror that is here in the palette. Now since it is a lighter color, I'm going to start patting it on and then see if we need to like um, blend it. So the second story is about a 44 year old woman in Tripoli, Greece. Now they don't give her name. <laughs> Pro yeah, they don't give her name. Now this woman, like going along with the whole dating theme she was arrested a couple weeks ago, like maybe two weeks ago she was arrested. And this has to do with fires. Everyone is safe. No one, nothing bad has happened to anyone. Just giving you a heads up. She was recently arrested because she intentionally set, what do they say? Intentionally and repeatedly set fires. Now, they said repeatedly, but it was only twice. I mean, I guess I shouldn't say, but it was only. So basically she set two fires. I think it was on her property or near, near her property. And you know, there wasn't any like, it was like a small area, but they did say that it led to two wildfires. So I don't know how all of those can go together, but I'm not the Grecian police. Basically, <laughs> I feel like her name is Connie. Let's just call her Connie. Connie set these two fires and when like the firefighters came to put them out or whatever, they noticed that she was there at both of them, right? Like what are the chances that she's there at both? I'm going to go into these two orange shades and do just a bit of a gradient. So they were like, how she had both of them? <laughs> like, what's going on? So they do a little investigation and find out that she's the one that set the fires. And they're like, girl, why'd you do that? You set two different fires. Basically, Connie set these fires because she wanted to flirt with the firefighters. She wanted to, quote unquote, get a man in uniform. Now Connie about to have a whole bunch of men in uniform because she's getting arrested. And I think she has a jail sentence, a short one. What is the like craziest thing you've done to get attention? Because Connie, <laughs> what made her do that? Like, Connie, that's the only way, like, girl, you better go to Spain and get a pineapple. Like, she straight started two fires. That seems rather unsafe. She was just like, I want to meet a man in uniform, specifically in a 
firefighter uniform. So I'm just gonna go ahead and light this match, girl, <laughs> and go ahead and commit arson. They're her foolish behind. Why are you there, Connie? Why are you there? Why'd you stick around? But I guess she had to. I'm wondering what did she wear? Like, I wonder where she was in terms of where the fire is. Like, was she just like at the front of it just waving and just like, you know, like posing and <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys look so great with that water hose. Like, I just wonder what she was doing. Like, <laughs> again. You could tell when people do and do, do not have friends. And I don't think Connie has friends because a good friend would tell her this is straight up stupid. Just straight up. Like, Connie, do not do this, girl. Or if you do it, don't call me for bail. I ain't messing with you like that. I am not messing with you. You are, you know, every man for himself, Connie. But I do kind of want to know, did she get to hook up with anybody? Like, did it work, cons? Because <laughs> if it did, like, maybe some other folks want to do it. Do not start no on forest fires, y'all. Remember what Smokey the Bear said. Only you can prevent forest fires. So, yeah. Connie went ahead and... took matters into her own hands. But I'm like, Connie, if you're not gonna go to Spain, like, could you not have just gone on a dating app and just like, you know, been like, I prefer someone who wears a uniform or how willing are you to wear one for me? Like, you could go like to Party City and you could get a uniform. Oh. Right? Like, I feel like Connie just, like, you went through a lot, girl. And this was not well thought out because now you're arrested and you're an arsonist. I'm going to use this shade to do a wing. So I'm just going in with this Danessa Myricks uh, in my Kitco brush. It is the number 35. Now, I find it harder for me to wear like brighter colors like this yellow. So typically, I would add a shimmer to kind of cover up any, I guess, blank hole spaces. And I do like a powder or eyeshadow liner ever so often. So I'm gonna see if I can get that yellow to, but you know, I don't have smooth eyelids like no one does. So you can see it here, but I, you can also see that there is like a space right there. And I do feel like a shimmer will cover that up more. So rather than sitting here looking like that, I'm going to grab a shimmer and put it on top. So this isn't completely matte. Forgive me for that. Let's find a yellowy gold shimmer. So I'm going into my single shadows. So, oop. this one right here is Chartreuse. I believe this is from Sydney Grace. So there is that. That looks pretty good. This one here is Sydney Grace Lemonade. This one is going to be pretty. This has bit a bit more like duo chromey if you can see it probably not Jeez. and then there's this one which is daisy from copacetic cosmetics i feel like lemonade might be the one 
So, let's go with that one. So basically I'm doing this so like there's a bit of a reflection and I can kind of fill in that wrinkle line there. Okay, there is that. And then I'm going to go back into the Sunset Chic palette and use some of the mattes to just line under like line my lower lid or whatever this is. Okay, time for mascara and foundation and just balancing everything out to go with the eyeshadow. I will be right back. So here's the second look, super bright. Uh, I think you could do this in the summer also, but if you want it to be like bright once the, the fall leaves first come out, then you'll blend right in. Okay, so let's do one more look and the last story. So I think I'm going to do a green or blue or something look. Maybe. Uh, okay. And I am going to use my Makeup by Mario primer. And this is his Master Eye Prep and Set. And it's in the deep shade. So here's the last story. In the UK, there is Laura Jameson. She is 38 and she works as an autism support officer. <sighs> Laura is married to Dean Jameson and he is the stepfather to Laura's son, Lucas. Lucas wanted to make like a memorable entrance to prom. What was your prom like? Cause do you remember when prom was just like a regular fancy dance? Now people are showing up like they're going to the Grammys or the Met Gala and people are doing prom proposals, prom proposals. I don't know, okay? I didn't have all that. Also, I went to an all girls school. So we had to ask people that we wanted to go with if they were, if we wanted to ask a guy. If you wanted to ask a woman, you have lots of choices there on campus and you know, just in general. So Laura, like the supportive parent that she is, was so on board with this and she was very encouraging of Lucas, which we all love. We love a supportive parent. I'm going to use the Earthy palette from Beauty Bay. Lots of greens in here. And I don't know which I want to use. Maybe I'll start with this one. That is Apple. Okay, so Miss Laura is encouraging Lucas and they both want him to do something that people will remember for years to come, right? He wants to make a splash at prom. So they said, rather than just hiring a helicopter, okay, cause that's in everyone's budget, a family friend, a family friend suggested that Lucas arrive at prom in a body bag. And suggested that he be thrown out of a van like a corpse. Laura, the mother, 
thought this was a quote unquote brilliant idea. Now, I don't know if, if it's because Laura is not quite 40, I don't know, but this sounds like a dumbass idea. But listen, I'm not the mama. So, what they do is they like rent a van and Laura goes, I don't know where, Amazon, and orders three body bags because it's going to be Lucas and two of his friends. Now, the two friends, I guess they were just maybe going to share like a limo slash coroner's van and they didn't want to do, the two friends were real like hesitant, reticent. They're like, mm, not my jam. But Lucas was like, well, then y'all can't go with me. Okay, so yeah, we're just gonna bully slash pressure, coerce people to do things that we want them to do. Okay, all right. So, this is where Dean comes in, the stepfather. Dean and two other full-on adult males drive the van. First of all, they put the boys in, they help them into the body bag, and they put them into the van. And then when they got to the venue, they took them out of the van and laid them on the ground. Once they were on the ground, they were unzipped and Lucas and his two friends emerge in suits and sunglasses. Now, apparently before the whole stunt, prank, whatever, Laura and Lucas let the teachers know that this was going to happen. I guess, I don't know why. Maybe so, I don't know. And apparently the teachers had no problemo with this. So they were, they could just go along, go ahead and do it. Laura says it was the best entrance anyone had ever seen. It was absolutely original and it was so much better than like a fancy car and everyone's always going to remember that it don't seem like they interviewed any attendees of the prom and apparently supposedly the teachers were there taking photos. <sighs> this is dumb assery at its finest because what like if I had gone to that prom I would be so pissed because you coming in here like a straight up fool with your two foolish friends and I feel like you're ruining prom for me I I don't want to be the person who attended a prom where someone arrived in a body bag like people are just going like it's like beyond the pale they are just going over and over and beyond over the top at some point somebody gonna be like now nah, i'm gonna really be dead then y'all could bring me out and <laughs> uh that's how i'm attend prom i mean it was bad enough that they were like oh it's just get a helicopter <sighs> what how much is that I had my uncle drive us in his Suburban, <laughs> like way to the Biltmore Hotel in downtown LA. I'm sorry. Where y'all be getting this money? Like we had to save for prom, you know what I'm saying? Like what's he gonna do for his wedding if he decides to have one what's he gonna do is he gonna just drop from a like helicopter that's on fire like is he is he gonna like parachute in from like the maldives like what 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 i th this is just maybe it's me and maybe i'm just being curmudgeonly which i fully accept but this is stupid in my opinion I'm only one person. And maybe some of y'all are like, this is like the best idea ever. 
okay, like, help me understand your thought process there. Because for me, I'm like, you just, you just, all the attention is now on you. Um, they, they didn't show a picture of his friends popping out the, the bags. I feel like I would just be like, okay, then I guess I'm not going with you, bud. Like, I'm not about to, where did they dates at? If they had dates, I don't know. Like, but I wouldn't be like, oh, okay, I'm gonna meet you at the, the prom bay. <laughs> they didn't have no dates. They couldn't have. They didn't have no dates. I think I might try a blue. This might really go sideways, but you can always fix things. And I'm going to use the Paws palette from Menagerie and go into Woof Woof. I can already tell this isn't a good idea. Maybe not. I mean, maybe, maybe it's fine. I think I'm going to do like sort of a V. I'm just like so done. Like, and the thing, the thing is he, ha he has the support and encouragement of both parents. I, you know, I feel like maybe he doesn't have any siblings. Cause if my brother told me he was doing that, I'd be like, dude, what the hell? You're stupid. You know, like, I, I don't know. I just don't find it funny, cool, entertaining. I think I would just go home. Like I'm, you know what? If y'all teachers sanction this, I just don't want to be here no more. Let me, can I graduate? Can I just graduate? Cause y'all doing too much. You're doing too much. You have this little boy coming up. And... How do you order body bags? Do you, can you just literally just order body bags? It has to be Amazon, right? Because you can get anything on Amazon. It has to be. It has to be Amazon. I refuse to believe it's anywhere else. I need one of y'all to Google that. I'm not going to Google it. Okay? Because I don't want <laughs> my uh, search history evaluated. L nope. One of y'all do it. Because I, you know, I'm going to look it up. But. Could you imagine being the Amazon delivery person and they decided to get like the, where it's not the Amazon packaging, it's like the manufacturer packaging and it's like three body bag. Listen, <laughs> this sounds like one of those kits people use to just not do good things, okay? It, mm, I don't know. I just don't think it sounds like a really... <sighs> it just sounds stupid to me. I, I mean, <laughs> what I'm gonna do is turn this into a shimmer look. So I'm going to use one of the shimmers in here and maybe the blue in here or no i'll just go ahead and use the green in here and the blue in here so i could have done all of this with just this palette i guess but i didn't so here we are i mean i mean <laughs> some of you probably have folks who are going to prom now like is uh, even my niece had like a little little what did they be calling it champagne party that you supposed to have before the prom so everybody can see what you look like uh, I 
just old, y'all. We, I'm just like, when I was younger, we didn't do things like that. We just went to the prom. Like, <laughs> and then there was usually like an after prom or something. <sighs> And I went to prom as a junior and a senior. You know, senior year, I was on the prom court. <laughs> but, like, I don't... <laughs> like, I don't support these shenanigans. And maybe if I had a prom age child, I would be like, yes, I'm gonna drive that court. But I just feel like, could you imagine telling your friends when they're like, oh, what, you know, are you guys doing anything special for Lucas's prom? Yeah, girl, <laughs> this is what we gonna, we gonna have a black van that my husband and two of his friends are gonna drive and then Lucas and his two friends are gonna be in body bags. No, like for real, for real body bags. And then they're gonna pull him out of the, the van. They're gonna get to the venue, pull him out of the van, and then they're gonna unzip the body bags and Lucas and his friends are gonna pop out. Like, <laughs> it's gonna kill. I just been like really upset about it because it's stupid. It's, it, it, it's, let me know if I'm wrong. Let me know if I'm wrong. And maybe you're like, let people do what they want to do. Truth. All the way truth. I, just, I don't support this. I don't support it. I'd rather support the pineapple shopping in Spain. That's, that's the one out of all three of these stories. That's the one that actually makes the most sense. When I think of the three I've talked about. That's the one I can get behind. Okay, because all it is is consenting folks trying to find somebody that they can date or do. But then Connie is over here setting forest fires and Lucas is over here being encouraged by his mama Laura and his stepdaddy Dean to do some dumb stuff. I cannot. I if Ooh, I wish my niece would have said something like this. I'm like, you ain't going, okay? If you got to do all that, girlfriend, you ain't going to prom, okay? Or you going to go on your mama's bill because I'm not going to help pay for nothing. I actually don't think I help pay for anything anyway. But besides the point. <sighs> okay, I have green liner and blue liner and I want to use them. So, why don't we put, let's do like opposite day. Like, I'm just so through. And the mom is like, oh, if I'm anything, talk about living through your child. Like, girl, have an adult prom and do this yourself. And I'm talking about a family friend. That family friend wanted them to look like fools. You can't tell me otherwise. That family friend was like, they gonna look so stupid. <laughs> yeah. That ain't a friend. Are y'all for sure that that person likes you? Or is all y'all stupid? Are y'all stupid? That's that's the more likely scenario. All y'all stupid. And I refuse to believe that you're not. Okay? All right. Okay, last finishing touches and out. This one has me upset. I should be upset about kind of like with them damn fires. But why does this one get under my skin a little bit more? And Connie is, oh, Connie's 44. So she, she's old enough to have sense. So here is the final look. I think it's my favorite. I love that I decided to do blue and green. How often do I do that? <laughs> and then I have on a dark lipstick, which 
I love. I think that's it, y'all. Let me know what you think about these stories. I'm really curious <laughs> about your opinions. I hope that some of this was helpful and I also hope that you are continuing to take care of yourself. I would love it if you liked the video and I would love it even more if you subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.